Hello everyone, Rex here and welcome back to some more Let's Play Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. Today we're entering World 2, the Sherbert Desert. I'm pretty excited. I guess we gotta push you in there to actually enter the desert. And oh, oh there's already something we can look at. So let's take a look. They are going for the all-time record of 1,073,204 headers in a row. So far they have 7. They're gonna be busy for a while. Okay, well, let's uh, go in the pipe. It looks like we have a desert world, which is pretty cool. Or an ice world? Is it a mix between both? What is this? Oh, we haven't learned how to do this yet. I guess that's going to be the new ability that we will unlock. Uh, we could push these boxes, I guess. Hmm, so we have a block puzzle, it seems. And we would need to put the box in there. And that would allow us to go through here, but can we do anything with the pillar? Doesn't look like we can. At least I don't know how to. And there's something there too. Okay, this all looks complicated. Maybe we should just uh, enter the cannon. Oh, first of all, there looks to be something up here. That's a pretty good caterpillar. I wonder if he's practicing for a break off. I don't get that. But okay, whatever. Here we go. Definitely seems like it's a desert and ice world mixed in one, which is pretty interesting. Wonderful. This once thriving desert is now partly a frozen wasteland. Your arrival in this world would seem to be as welcome as a skunk in a bowling alley. Hmm. Is that welcome? Hello again. Have you seen the toad? We've got separated. Again? <laughs> he thinks it's fun. Just draw out the map and let your heart be your guide, is his motto. Could you please find him for me? I'm starting to get worried. I'll stay here in case he comes back. Sure, Toadette. We'll uh, try and look for Toad. World 2-1. Cold hands, warm heart. Is that what it said? Ooh, okay, that's that's a big ice cube tray. Is, is, is that an ice cube tray? It kind of looks like it. Can we look at this? This seems like something you should be able to look at, but I guess not. Hmm. Some blocks there. That looks blocked off. Well, we can open our first chest for some more power orbs. Also, as we're looking, uh, in between I did some challenges, but not all of them in World 1. So I do have a little bit more like power orbs and stuff like that. Uh, we'll get some upgrades in a little bit. Uh, before the first battle here, but yeah, I I probably won't be doing all the challenges uh, all the time anyway. Anyway, defeat all seems like a pretty standard first mission here. It does look like we get some new enemy types though, so let's uh, prepare for battle here first of all. So we have a sherbet Ziggy, another sherbet Ziggy, and a sherbet Hopper. Okay, so they're not new enemy types. But just variants of this area. So that's a little bit different. Okay. Of course there's a pipe here that allows us to get to the back of them. And a pipe here as well. That seems pretty standard. Okay. So here is what my skill trees look like right now. I'm just going to scroll through them. You can see what is activated and what isn't. We have a few points to spend that we could technically spend. But nothing I really want to spend it on. And for the team I think I will simply... Uh, go with uh, Rabbit Luigi, who I have been liking, as well as, let's say, Rabbit Peach. Yeah, that should be fine. And then we will start the fight. So, what can we do in this first move here? Uh, Mario could reach the pipe, so we could have one person go across there. And the other two can also reach the pipe. So, let's see with Rabbit Luigi, first of all. Yeah, he could go about here. Couldn't really get a good shot at... Well, he could get a good shot at the hopper, actually, there. 100% hit. That would be pretty good. Uh, Rabbit Peach. Her movement options basically include the same spot. Except it doesn't look like she would be able to reach the hopper. 
So I gotta keep that in mind. And then Mario, of course, he could also go there, but that wouldn't really help. What I think I will do is have Rabbit Luigi go over here and do you want to hide on this side or the other side? I feel like if I hide over here, that gives me a little bit better cover from getting shot at. Because I, yeah. Yeah, I think that's what I will start off with. And then we can shoot. Huh, now it doesn't say 100% anymore. I could swear it did before. Oh, there we go. That gives me 100% on you. Yeah, let, let Oh, they have a lot more health now, but you know what? Let's do it. 18 damage. That's not too much. Um, I'm not sure if I really want to do anything yet in that regard. Uh, let's actually check real quick. So yeah, there's a fire thing. So if we can activate burn on that, that would be pretty good. I'm not sure. You have bounce and you have... The other thing so neither of you really work well for that which is a shame but okay um, unfortunately we can't bounce you on anyone not from here what if we have rabbit peach just advance a little bit initially i think that could be pretty good have her like advance here or something can mario no mario can only run up to one of these two so it would be best if Rabbit Peach doesn't go much further than that. So yeah, let's uh, let's have Rabbit Peach go over here. And then let's see, we have a 50% shot at either of you two. But I could also guarantee a hit on you, which I think I will take. Can I? Nah, that won't reach this turn. So we'll do this. I just blow up in your face for 52 damage. I'll happily take that. And then finally, Mario. What we can do is have you bounce off of here. Ooh, we can't double bounce though. I could have him go all the way up here, but that might be risky because we would be pretty much in enemy territory. Um, if I bounce off of you, I will kill already though. So that is also interesting to keep in mind. I could just put him safely behind here, or at least, you know, relatively safely. Uh, yeah. Actually, I, I feel like that would work pretty well. So let's do that. We'll bounce off of you to get the kill. Then hide back behind here. That's one of the enemies down. Then Mario... We won't hit you and we don't do burn, so it's stupid to try and shoot at you. We can either take a shot at one of those two. Luigi already shot, of course. Peach already shot. So, what I think I'll start with is hero sight. Because all of them should be in range. So, if any of them decide to move, then I will be able to get them. And I think I'll just shoot at the Ziggy. Oh, unfortunately, I missed. That's okay. Uh, I don't think I need to use this, so... Enemy turn. Unless... Does this re reach them? No, figured as much. Enemy turn, then. Oh, I didn't even check for Peach's things. Oh, well. Mario will shoot here for the critical bounce. It's pretty nice. Ah, oh, and Shamey lives with 7 HP. So he is allowed to take a shot. Luckily, he misses. But that could have gone better. He unfortunately survived. He is using an ability, so it seems like they might be able to get more abilities now. Which I'll have to definitely keep in mind. Yeah, it, it looks like now enemies are also getting abilities, because he seemed to activate some kind of shield. He hits as well. Okay, so things are ramping up a little bit. In that case, can I actually see what they have? Oh yeah, shield, global damage reduction. So the new Ziggies have a shield. And these guys have villain sight. Okay, so he's going to be able to look. And villain sight will hit Mario if he moves at all. As well as Peach. And Rabbit Luigi if he moves too much closer. I might want to actually take a shot at him just to avoid taking damage from 
the villain side in that case. Let's see, if we try to shoot, we had a 50% shot at you and that's the only one we can reach. With Peach, we do zero damage. Wait, why would... That's a shame. Mario, zero damage. Okay, we can kill you with Mario. I might want to just do that. Just for the sake of not taking extra damage. We could, of course, slid into him for some damage. But I think that this uh, will be okay, too. Red Peach, can we slide into you for damage? It seems like we can. And we could also go through here. You are the only one there, though. Let's actually start with Rabbit Luigi. Ah, Rabbit Luigi can't quite slide into you. In that case, it might just be... Smart to stay where we are with Rabbit Luigi. Although, from here, we can't hit anyone. So that's the downside. Oh, well, well we have a 50% shot. I could get close and risk getting hit myself. Ah, uh, okay. And Mario, could you get a good shot at him? What we could do with Mario as well is just slide into him. But yeah, we would have to get over here. Mario already shot, though. I'll have to keep that in mind. Yeah, what I think I'll do with Peach is slide into you. Where could Mario bounce you? Nowhere great. So I think it would be better to just go through the pipe. And... If we sit here, yeah, I think this will be the safest spot. Okay, that breaks his shield, so his shield can take tank damage one time, but after that, it will just completely break. So it's definitely good to learn about as well. 64 damage there. He has 70-ish HP remaining. In that case, it definitely makes sense to at least slide into you. Uh, we can't actually hurt you at all anymore, though. Or, like, we're not allowed to shoot at all anymore. So maybe, actually, afterwards, we could go here. Oh, we can't quite bounce onto you. I was hoping that might be an option. Which might still be an option if Rabbit Luigi moves up even slightly. If Rabbit Luigi moves up here, we can jump on him. But that's risky. The jump will do 30 damage. And your gun won't do enough to kill. So I would take some damage if if I move up. Like, it, it's kind of tempting to go up, but that that is just so risky. Um, and we won't ever get a good shot. Yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot here. We miss, unfortunately. Kind of figured that would happen, though. Movement? Is movement actually what we could do? No, running away with you doesn't really do much good either. Okay. Okay, so Peach, uh, we will just use a shield or a heal. I think I'll use a shield this turn with Peach. Because why not? Mario, we can still get a bounce. Or, no, wait. What Mario definitely needs to do is just slide into you. And I'm almost tempted to just hide behind here or something. I'm not really sure where I want to hide Mario at. Peach is pretty much in the only spot where I'm kind of happy to place him. I guess I could place him here. He would get a 100% shot at both, but yeah, I guess so. I'll just do some damage there. Mario is a bit more fragile than Peach this turn, unfortunately, but that should be fine. Um, Well, you're not in range for this, so I guess I'll just use the super barrier because I think I'll finish off the battle next turn. And... We actually aren't going to move with Rabbit Luigi at all. Enemy turn. 
Let's see what happens. You are 31 health, so you're not too bad anymore. Okay, you luckily shoot at Peach, which is definitely very welcome. Uh, you're gonna shoot at Mario, though. Yeah. That's a shame. Mario takes some extra damage there. And you put on a shield. Well, that's fine. Uh, Rev Luigi, though. Ooh, we can... We can take a 100% shot and kill you. But better yet, we can't shoot at you. Or we can't slide into... Uh, we can't slide into you either. Okay. In that case... I think what makes the most... We can break your shield or just kill you. We'd rather... Luigi. Rabbit Peach can't slide into you either. So Mario's slide would do 40. Peach's slide would do just 30, but Peach can't slide into you. So what I definitely need to do is slide into you with Mario. That will do that will break your shield, but then you will have still a hundred-ish left. So, we'll have to take a shot with you as well. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think I think I have figured out what I want to do. I'm first of all just going to go ahead and shoot the kill here. Because we can get that guaranteed. Um, and Rabbit Luigi, I will have you move up slightly here. Um, and I guess we can weaken your weapon damage. It doesn't really matter all that much, but we might as well. Now, Peach, I'm gonna heal here, because I think this will be the last turn of the thing. Um, yeah, and Mario, we're, we're gonna have to slide into you, and I think I want to stay, like, right next to you, so I can hammer you. <laughs> That will do 55 to 65, which shouldn't be enough to kill, especially because even with Peach, we're not going to be able to do enough damage normally, I think. Can we even get a good shot at you? We could get a good shot at you. Um, I might, I might not win this turn, but you know what? Let's increase Peach's weapon damage. As well as Mario's weapon damage, I guess. I'll slide into you. Do I hide over here? Or do I go right next to him to hammer? I'll go over here. That gets rid of your thing. Okay, this will do... Both of them will do 60... 6 to 78, but this has bounce damage, or bounce chance, I should say. Peach could go over here for 50% shots. Is that the best we're gonna get with Peach? A 50% shot? That's really not great. I really figured Peach would be able to get a better shot. But it seems like no matter where we go, we get a 50%. Okay, in that case, Mario, shoot. Critical bounce. Oh, nice. I love that. Because that clears the battle. We don't have to worry about Peach at all anymore. Cool. Okay, and then... Looks like immediately we have the next battle as well. Okay, sure. No dilly-dallying at all. Defeat all once more. A bigger map. Some high ground this time. Uh, let's see. There's Ziggy. Another Ziggy. And we need to defeat five of them. Two Ziggies. A third Ziggy. A fourth Ziggy. And a fifth Ziggy. So pure Ziggies. I will keep my uh, team the same as I had it. And we're just going to see what we can do here. Now, what I can definitely do is do 50 damage by sliding into you. Going up here, doing another 50 damage. Going back here, shooting at you for the kill. And then having the high ground. Yeah. That seems like a pretty good turn. Oh, hey, vampire. Nice. And vampire again. Nice. 
Uh, I will probably have Mario finish one of those guys off then. The question is, do I want to finish... Yeah, let, let's actually see if we can have Mario do this. Go in here. Bounce off of you. Ooh. We can't quite bounce over here, which would have been a really good spot to go. Can we... Can we go there if we... Ooh, we could go there if we don't bounce. And I think that is a really nice spot to be in. But then you will live. That said... What we can also do, of course, is have Rabbit Peach. Rabbit Peach should probably actually focus on this guy here. Because... I'm already going to be pretty good with those. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Th that's actually pretty good. I'm going to have Rabbit Peach do... Let's see. Can you throw me in a better spot? Yeah, this is actually a better spot, I think. Or here. This might, We might get hit here, but I think this is a pretty good spot. So I'm going to do this with Peach. I'll slide to kill you. You can bounce back over here. We'll have to see. You have a 0% shot at hitting him. The excavator will eventually reach. But all of that will take a few turns. Okay. In that case, Mario now will simply go up, slide into you, and then Mario position himself right over here. I feel like this is a pretty good spot. Ooh, although we can get 50% shots here. We will be in slight risk of taking some damage. But I think that's going to be worth it. Plus, we should heal up a little bit with Vampire, right? Yeah, 12. There we go. It's actually necessary, or necessary helpful at the very least. Okay, so we can't hit you at all. But what I think I will do is... This should reach the turn after... Or I could try... Nah. Nah, I think... I think, um... I think Mario and Rabbit Luigi have got those two guys covered. So I'm gonna send a sentry out over there. Which should take him on next turn. And uh, I'm gonna use a shield because I do think that that guy can probably shoot at me. Uh, we haven't shot with Rabbit Luigi. That one is out of sight. No, you are not. Let's do it. 24 damage. I'm happy with that. And then Mario. We can get bonus damage on you. Both are 50% shot. So let's go for the bonus damage. You unfortunately miss it. Uh, Hero Sight. I think I will trigger that. Because two of them are in the range for that. Immunity suit super effect. I don't think I really need that. Nobody's in the range to get weakened. And Peach already did her thing. So let's pass it to the enemies. Uh, what I can also do is fast forward, by the way. Which I think I will do from here on out. Uh, just because that will make the enemy turns go a little bit quicker. And we can still pretty much see what's going on. So there we go. Our little turret actually survived that. Which is good, although it might die soon here. Let's see, Peach, we can go for the follow-up. That will just give us a 50% shot at him. Unfortunately, that's the best we can get. But that is still going to be a good idea. So I'm going to have Peach do that. And we'll see if we hit. Nice, we do hit. Uh, we don't need to heal. Next up, Mario. Um, okay, he went down there. Where did the other one go again? Is the other one dead? Huh, I guess one of them did die, yeah. Looks like it. Uh, I should grab this coin. In that case... Ooh, he does have villain sight activated, so I gotta keep that in mind. Although, this should be the last thing anyway. Okay, we could sit here to do damage. If we if we actually hit him with anyone, we will kill. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and boost our weapon power. And then Mario, the first you can walk is down there. In that case... Rabbit Luigi will tank some damage here, but that is actually completely fine. Uh, we will go ahead and shoot at you. For 55. That's fine though, because then Mario... Just bounce the kill. And... Where do I place him after the bounce? I guess it doesn't really matter, because... Peach should be able to win. So... Whatever, I'll just... Uh, I'll just place him on high ground, I guess. I don't think we can really hit anyone anyway. Because everyone should be way out of reach, way out of range. Peach, I mean, we could heal, but we are at full health anyway. I guess I could do this just in case, but it's not really necessary. I'm just going to go to enemy turn. Let's see. Yep. Close up and we win. So just two turns. I think that's quite good. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. And that does seem to be the end, so we get healed. So there we go. Cold hands, warm heart. We got our first perfect of the world already. And we have quite a bit of coins. We can probably start upgrading some weapons soon. Although I don't really feel like I overly need it quite yet. Was there anything over here that is of the item variety that I want to pick up? Actually... There is a slope here, isn't there? That has some weird pillar. I don't know how those pillars work. Maybe it's something that I need to learn still? Not quite sure. We'll, uh, we'll have to see what it's all about. Ooh, that's the portal. It's gotten bigger. There must be a way to stop it. Ahem. Two steps forward, one step back. To find Spawny, you must defeat the rabbits who plague you at every step. However, each victory frees them from the mega bug upon high. Pay close attention when you defeat an enemy and you'll see that the mega bug regains some of the strength it lost when it merged with your foe. Hint, the ghost like apparitions that rise to the sky after you clobber someone's senses are a clue. Yes, I see. Defeating the rabbits frees them from the Megabug's influence, which then makes the Megabug stronger. Oh, that's very clever. I... Oh, oh dear. That's not good, is it? Our only hope is to find Spawny. And stop him from creating any more abominations that will only add substance to the storm above. As you would say, let's -a go first to find Toad, then Spawny. Yep, sounds good. Thank you for the message, good pal. Let's see, just a music track. The mid-boss team. I see, I see. Huh. Oh, hey, a bunch of coins just dropped. I'm not sure what the intended path is. I feel like up there is the intended path. So let's check in here really quickly. Oh, we can actually push this. That lowers that. So then we're allowed to push this ahead. Oh, then we can press this again to make it rise up. And there we go. That wasn't too tricky. And it did, does get us some extra power orbs. Nice. Always happy to have more of those. 